My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May the name of the Lord be glorified. On this day, January 17, it is a great pleasure to meet you all through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. Take with me from the book of Psalm 126 5, those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. My dear brothers and sisters, most of you are sobbing in tears. That means you have invested in plenty. You are sowing your hard labor, some of you are sowing money. You all have invested your precious time, you are investing your talents. We read in the Bible about a master who gave five talents to one person, two talents to another person, and to the third person. He gave one talent and went to a distant place. He says, you go sow your talents and go forward in your life. The man who got five talents invested in his business and made a double share of the profit. He did it ten times. The Lord was very pleased with him. He told him, You have been honest in a few things and have been true, you have increased your talents ten times. So I will make you lord over a great business and make you a wealthy and rich merchant. You shall enter the house of the Lord. This is what God expects of you. But the man who received one talent buried it in the ground. He did not make use of it at all. He never used the talent in his business. He never made business with it or invested it for any useful cause. When the master returned and asked him what he did with the talents he had given him, he replied, I kept it safe to return the talent back to you, Lord. And he returned that one talent that he had received from the Lord. God was very hurt. He felt pity on that man for not having used the talent properly. He has not doubled the amount or used it for his business. He called him a fool and asked why he did not invest it in his business. I thought you would sow it with tears and reap it with joy. I thought you would have made good use of the talent, but you have come back having not done any use with it. God took away what he had and gave it to the man who had five talents. So, God has given you some talents, but many of them are lazy. Not wanting to do anything. Many don't like to work hard. They feel it is better for them to eat well at home and sleep peacefully. To be successful, they are struggling day by day. In order to bring an end to all your struggles, and though you have sown in tears, you are not able to reap a good harvest, so you examine for yourself as to what is wrong in you and tell the Lord, as per your verse, I have sown in tears, so I need to reap in joy, but nothing has happened. Dear Lord, we thank you. Lord, I pray for and bless all the children who read this message. May it be useful to them. You have said that those who sow in tears will reap in joy. Your children have invested in and sown hard work. They have sown in the ministry, in the place of their work, in their business. Lord, they have not reaped a good harvest. In case there is something lacking in them that they should not be able to harvest, I pray that God forgives them and helps them to rectify themselves for all their mistakes. Give them a good heart. Lord, I submit this matter to your hands, so that they may make a good profit, clear all their debts, and be able to take all the leftovers. I bless all of them from the bottom of my heart. Do wonders for them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.